you know, it's not just France. They have, listen to Greg's report. They have a no-go zone. Police are not allowed. Non-Muslims aren't allowed. That to yeah. me is, why would France or any other country allow Muslims that have come into the country to basically take over portions of the country? That, that is madness to me. Yeah, it isn't just France. It's happening right across Europe. Um, we've got no-go zones in most of the French cities. Uh, we've been turning a blind eye to preachers of hate that have been coming here from the Middle East um, and saying things for which the rest of us would be arrested. Go home. You was the long hair, you'd be pink skinned, blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes. Go home, the lot of you. You make me sick. I'm coming out of North West London, and I'm in the middle of a middle classy problem. See, I got enough money to just about survive, but ain't enough money to actually live a life. It's a pretty high line for what makes up my demise, because North West London is sexy, but it's polarised. As those H.A. streets speak my mind My reasons as to why everyday tribes of corporate nomads Every day fail to resuscitate their minds I defibrillate the lies they was prescribed as truth Like 401ks come with the first degree rule Like you would have been special only if you revised Like practice makes perfect But who's perfect in real life? And you see man was raised in northwest London So I can chart shit till the cows come home You get me? Us about these education machines twisting the year six puppy with a vicious bite taking us in only so they can train us to fight with a road to an aqa excellent combat technique obliterate your mates in those mid jan mid june weeks to spark insecurity of superiority to ace exam sheets whose only outcome seems bold outlined in twisting a friction between multiple choices and multiple faiths to kindle a jealousy between myself and the home squad knit tight swear down one of the boys who I know in all my life Went smiled to my face walking in But said to the exam structure on the side Yo miss I heard that brown boy talk about a reborn Al-Qaeda Nah 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 serious miss I heard it Black and white like a zebra He's in this new group isn't it? It's called Algebra Bruh Should have just said I live in a three bed terrorist house now cue the brainchild of paranoid government policy schemes George Orwell foreseen Counterterrorism and Security Act 2015 All trying to Prevent 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 Muslims embracing the faith as old as their names Then I had to go talk to the local police Prove I was an Obama And take that exam along with two others the next day That's cool, I got two C's and an A I got my first choice like Gandhi I'll walk it off all the same But why ain't they gone red in the face? Because no apology came no, it's now lawfully okay to file faith profiling underneath a duty To keep our people safe But nobody remember the last time that kind of rationale was used When one religious minority was profusely blamed and abused Demonised till they were dehumanised by loaves and leather clad suits To the many could reign democratic power over the few Till they got so high off their own fumes they used those fumes to mass genocide the few Yada 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 World War 2 Fast forward to today where they've rebranded extortion of power as safeguarding the weak Oh so it's okay to accept packy civil liberties as bureaucratic casualties Pretending we got better policy than Hitler's right wing philosophy Enoch Powell delivering rivers of blood as a preach Or Maggie T calling us aliens walking on British streets And then you wonder why youths like me feel alienated by British society to fight holy wars Tell me people working a dead 9 to 5 don't feel the same Trapped in a way not being permitted to gain the ground they need to build a life Staring down the barrel of a desktop terminal Hoping tonight their first world problems fade away To die To sleep Or to take arms against a sea of troubles And by opposing End them As Hamlet says Cause every office space got politics and war zones nowadays But you see these terror fine smoky wars have only arrived Cause we empowered people who live a certain kind of life Ones with a six by six kind of view Embodying the proper cut suits with the skinny ties Sipping the full fat benefits and semi skimming over all our quality of life Sat on green benches with green eyed monsters hiding inside their eyes And a blue face fully blustered to repeal terrorism It's just cause we're western Defend Charlie Hebdo as just justified free speech Okay Then weep for an age of true peaceful democracy Okay cause listen Your ashtray speaks only one truth You set something on fire you best clean up that hot black suit. 
Cause we're all burning in this black ashtray under storm grey skies Rizzled by the grey opinions of grey hearts and minds Filtered the grey zones of morality ignite your grey missiles To paint grey on the faces of parents whose kids only live To one time revenge mom and dad combust and die Leaving themselves behind this hot black suit for lords and commoners alike To hype up the remains as evidence to support the white lies Lit up by lords and commoners back when they all wore double breasted battle suits and Italian silk ties The year was 1916 History lesson, Pico and Sykes, the French and English dividers of the Islamic Ottoman Empire, drawing the lines of national territory for Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Turkey, in a blindfold compass, blunt empathy, scorching geometry, conscripted red, white, black flags as the great empire's lasting legacy, on theological brown soils, they now booty call for the crude crude oil, trying to lube up colonization with a sense of slippery, plausible deniability, like a western ruler carving the Middle East with a western ruler. Nah, that ain't gonna cause anti-West sentiment or spite. Nah, we're good people who ain't never gonna renege on the promise of Lawrence in Arabia or let Western militaries in 1979 supply arms to Al-Qaeda on a demand that they'd make the USSR die, instructed them in combat, bomb pep and smuggling stinger missiles, and as the Soviet Union's resources were then sufficiently bled dry, out go Western forces to escape the scene of the crime, leaving the murder weapons behind in the now hands of pro-insurgents who, in a surge of retribution, flowed out of the foothills in to the plains in search of the true murderer, making him accept the consequence of this great game, but... Wait for it. Keep waiting. He denies the allegations and runs away. The tactical opportunist gambler masquerading like a freedom dealer, drunk and high off his economic fever. Sanity receding, body heat increasing as white cell morality battles a dark virus of sadistic greed, infecting its host into a three-tiered war machine, equal parts money, democracy, and freedom of speech. Hell, at this point, we might as well airstrike go with British V-12 hymns, horse powered off napalm. U.S. defense sec Donald Rumsfeld gave Saddam those chemical weapons to bomb Iran. Media barons prosecuting a tabloid war on Islam and um, how comes America now controls the central banking powers in the land of Sharm? Coincidence. Meanwhile, the lives of innocent Syrian civilians is like they've been living in the Divine Comedy rewritten where innocents atone for sins they never committed but still get bombed to hell by our paradise cities. Your guns should fire rose water to rebaptize your holy trinity through the matrix prism because your god's been morpheus by the agents of your neoliberal religion worshipping your wallet with 9 to 5 dedication fam. Your god's been reborn as capitalism so you're offered the Arabs a western democratic plan B pending compensation for the post-traumatic stress of non-consensual colonization for the stretch marks of 2003 hands up against the wall illegal invasion for wrecking ball screwing home some psychological humiliation as we're all burning in this black ash tray under storm grey skies rizzled by the grey opinions of grey hearts and minds filtered the grey zones of morality ignite your grey missiles to paint grey on the faces of parents whose kids only live for one time avenge mom and dad combust and die as the missionaries in missionary belly dance with the devils on Baghdad roof tiles Etching victory into gloopy white rivers trickling down their brown thighs Reparations for bastardized societies left behind by this great empire chanting Let's make Britain great again We're not like them, we're British, we could do anything I say let's make Britain great again We're not like them, we're British, we could do anything I say let's make Britain great again We're not like them, we're British, we could do anything I say If we wanted to Lads, we could build our own Jerusalem here in England's green and pleasant lands with the spoils of a second crusading attack. Trojan horse ourselves in the outstretched hands offering investment contracts, saying we pray for the crude black rain to wash the perceived blood off our ancestors' hands, only so we can monetize it to drown the plebs out of living in Britain's houses and flats, and therefore proclaim foreign investors have hijacked London homes, divide to conquer modern-day Rome, so therefore let us abort the succession of Islamic force by Caesarean shisha smoke and cruise down our king's road, lolling at our box office cinematic slaps, as the last of our colonial scars are cauterized, sensationalized, and monetized by Hollywood cash, as audiences the world over empathize the emotional inconvenience of American snipers burdened to rationalize, gunning down hundreds of innocent Muslim lives. That's the Bear Grylls facts. The lay of fractured lands. Hairlines compounded and pounded and pounded. And let me ask, wouldn't you want to rape your rapist back? Yeah, but why two planes can't smash Twin Towers bareback? 
Because if they could make Middle Easterners turn fanatic seeing their homes get blown up, then right wing fanatic take home salaries get blown up. How else could religious pedagogue and suicide bombs equal a debate for airstrikes? Because the rise in defence stocks, that's just coincidence, right? Rise in oil and a rise in greed You better kill your accountants with rice And don't leave a trace back to your evil deeds As the global warlords They get sly teased by the stockbrokers Flirting on that footsie So I guess the Saudi version of Match.com Are those gun auctions in XO London Cause you like me are vehemently chanting and shouting We're sick of the Viva La Vida Loca We're sick of the Viva La Vida Loca We're sick of the Viva La Vida Loca Oh man, I'm sick of them ensuring the Cold War plays out Fire and death the way that they say Filling the heads of British children with one-sided versions of World War II tales And if we're living La Vida Loca then hey, Ricky Martin Shouldn't we be dancing in the rain? Disregard the media's information to relearn my name Make sure that my premiums are paid for the piss weak British rain To refract the haze over these CCTVs So I may excavate the truth Underneath my prime army hoods in the sanctuaries of midnight marijuana alleyways Conjure up atmospheres of imagination stardust Dragon Ball fuse the Kamehame tongues with intellect Spirit bombs ready to erupt out of the Super Saiyan Yutsu only cry peak Cause we're sick of being treated like we were born in a trough Cause give us access to resource havens kept tucked away for a rainy day Give us a tank of that black rain and I will prove The grass ain't greener on the other side the grass is greenest where you water it Idiot Allow your privatizing sprays Irrigate to get balanced hydration That's how you grow a garden of Eden Water this country equally To nurture its people into a loving nature by your practiced equality <laughs> I ain't gonna be listened to Man, I'm young, I'm brown And I talk alien, like Personified Milky Ways Just cause I finna train my mind in a Jedi way To be educated against giving in to uneducated hate Taught by masters quite gone begging cage So I may remain a galaxy far far away From the Sith Lords of Guantanamo Bay Who would happily break my spirit and brains With the beavers of conformity at the sanctioned pulpits Of gun barrel guard for interrogation rape Blame the sun rising in the east for my energy hard growing strong Use every excuse under the sun to keep on bubbling that death row ball Cause you know it must be an intoxicating occupation Being the port key to Charon's one-way ferry Powder roots to asphodel infused in wormwood sorcery But get more guards ain't bitter regretting death of those lilies Nah, they're basking in the glow of Hades' symphony a tortured, slow, four-phase ballad of family, integrity, revenge, then mortality. Buckling the half-prince, half-blood passengers into Charon's cold ivory seats. The row A, mothers and fathers who fell, attempting to free Syrian streets. Row B, sons and nephews packaged like feeble cardboard coffins, their jam squeezed out easily. And row C, the newborn daughters and nieces who now may sleep. Finally. But hey. We're all only doing our jobs, right? Sounds like we all need a Long Island iced tea break from this hyper real video game that does not seem to have an end game or prize as we're all burning in this black ashtray on the storm grace. I predict a resolution will arrive. The day they will publicly deny any patriotism behind those DIY Washington Westminster white lies. You know the white lies soft soul to them in 2003, in 1979, back in the 18th century, that like war on terror, war on Russia, and all our British colonies are waging war, and that was the God-given duty of the righteous man to protect this world. Because all my days, like, it was such a great big burden to bear, this multinational, multi-faith, grizzly being sent from God in despair to his one race who just happened to have the fairer hair, the fairer skin, the fairer mind, the fairer things of democracy and justice and stuff day this time, but I know maybe this sounds like a long-winded, paranoid lie, but I couldn't leave without telling me my reasons why. Even if I can leave without saying goodbye. Because I'm from North West London, yeah. I'm British. But British people are scared. They feel like they're running out of time to make a mark on Earth. Something like me is always around the corner looking for Mark. They say, go back home. Ask me as a terrorist on the tube. You know, my 
part of one of those on the 7th century who had to call out of the name being written in the high part too. But we proved 23rd of June, we're a nation that takes pride in our prejudice. Meanwhile, those Jane austerity measures to flow forever over this land which is green and pleasant. It's only for those who set out the measures. Drowning all our chosen path to heaven with clouds of black rain saying, I'll oh, just live for the weekend, mate. Live like there's no tomorrow in it, day. Can you blame? I'm judging by yesterday, it's fair to say tomorrow is going to be the same. Because history is always coming in cycles. But there is one thing that ain't changed its face. A tan monument cast in the shade over all our Paki, Negro, Muslim, female, working class and gay names and edifice of class. Conditioning citizens into living as repressed submissive bricks who only find the confidence to riot behind the guy folks outfit. So I think it's time in history that we recycle that big brown cloth and do what should have been done in 1605. Global quote of a one, Lady Macbeth, Act 5, Scene 1, who speaks, Here lies the bloodstain. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. But I beg you, lords and commons, to try again. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeping your petty pigs from day to day till the last syllable of recorded time till you find a million reasons for all the millions of people that you have bombed, oppressed, and colonized to forgive you.